Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to do a little bit of a recovery job on this shrimp. It's, uh, the mother is far gone, she's dead, but the babies are still viable. Um, so I'm going to save the babies. I'm going to take the eggs off the shrimp. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that. What you need is a pair of tweezers, which is optional. And what I like to use is these things. It's the little toothpicks, the plastic ones. Um, a piece of plastic tubing. This is what you're going to use to actually to suck each individual egg out. And I don't have an egg tumbler, but you can use a shrimp net if you have one like this. All you have to do is bend the uh, net upwards like this, and you can put this angle here. Here, sorry. You can put this angle here against the inside of your tank and hold it there with a peg or something. And uh, you put your eggs in here above water flow. Um, I've done this, let me think, maybe once or twice in a couple of years. And um, it normally always works. You always get a couple of viable shrimp. Uh, you always get a couple of viable shrimp babies from it. So uh, let's do this. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, we're, we're basically going to have to try and separate the eggs from uh, the body. It's a little bit difficult for me to do because I have the camera right in the way here. So we use the tweezers just to grab the head of the shrimp. And then you want to basically tease out all the eggs, which may be harder. I think. Maybe I'll take the head off first, actually. That may be easier. There you go. The head's off. Oh no, shrimp. I'm going to grab the tail. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going from the back of the scoots the front and just gently drag forward and you should be able to pull out a lot of the eggs without damaging them. And just take your time and go over it and go over it like this. harder than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so there you go. There's some. Just give them a little bit of a shake to try and separate them from the swimmerettes. There you go, they're up on it now. And try and save as many as you can. I mean, sometimes they will burst, but if you're kind of gentle, they, you might get most of them out without damaging them. And I'm not sure how well this video is going to come out either, because it's, I can probably see that it's not going to be in focus either. But hey, you will be able to see how it's done. One leg, one, one egg, come on. This last one's been a little bit of a pain. But it's still attached. One, one egg. All right, so I'm going to try and have to grab this little bit here and pull the egg off, I think. There you go. All right, so that's the egg separated. I can't see any eyes or nothing on these, so they might not even be that old. Uh, let's separate all the little body parts away from the eggs so they don't get contaminated with them. Alright, so here we go. And next I'm going to use the 
this little net that I have and I'm just going to dip the base in the water here. Because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to suck the eggs up and I'm going to um, expel the water back out the tube into the net. So pardon it if I don't talk when I'm doing it. <laughs> Alright, so... Just take your time again, be gentle. And into the net. And I like to... Just to clear the tube, suck the water in it a couple of times, because often the eggs will get stuck. Alright, so... That is the eggs now transferred into the little net. And then, um, I'm going to put this into the tank. Now, it's a little bit difficult for me to put this into the tank and film at the same time, so I'm going to put it in the tank and then I'm going to bring you over. Okay? So let me switch it over here. And then I'll focus. You gonna focus for me? You gonna focus for me, wee camera? That make it worse? This camera is, a, is an effing nightmare to focus. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. And I'm going to place the net above probably that air stone there, I think. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and get you. And yes, I am a Glasgow Celtic fan. Alright, so I'm going to put the net in the back. Basically what you do with this is you just check the net every couple of days. And it's important if you get any snails in there and you're moving because they will eat the babies. That's like the pain. Nearly there guys, just a minute. Just a momento. I might normally use a peg to hold this net on but so difficult for me. The, the actual light had come off its little hinge. <laughs> I mean, at this point anyway, the, you've nothing to lose by trying to save a couple of shrimp, shrimp babies. Uh, they could be like future generations for you, so... Alright, you're coming over. Sorry, keep you waiting. Okay, so, there you go, there's my shrimp net, it's just above the water supply, the air, air stone, see it like this, and that, that simulates the, the mother fanning the eggs to keep some oxygen need, and with a, bit, with a bit of luck, some of them will hatch, and some of them might not, but that's the way it goes. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.